now that I've made my base, what I've done is I've scored around the edge. So you notice these little lines here that weren't there before? This is what it looked like before, now I scored into here. And what I did is I used a scoring tool like this, and I came through and I, and I scraped all those little edges. I kept it on the table, so that I could come in here and not ruin my uh, little slab here. Then I came in here to the coil, so if you notice I had a coil already pre-rolled, and then I scored about halfway through, because this is the part that's going to attach to this. So I want you to think about it this way. When you put your hands like this, they'll slip and I could separate them pretty easily. But as soon as I do this, it's not going to slip and it holds on tight. That's basically what we're doing with uh, scores, is we're creating marks in the clay that are going to join together and create a lock. That's what we want to do with our first layer, and only our first layer. Later on, um, we're just going to smoothen out just to join our coils. So, I come in here, once I've scored here and I've scored here, I take a little bit of water, just here. So the water's uh, going to create a little slip, which is liquid clay, just a little bit that's going to help with the adhesion. So I come in here and I push down and I start to roll it around the top of the clay. Okay. I come in here and I just keep them as straight as I can on top of each other. See that? I keep going and push down a little bit just to make sure that they're slightly compressed so I'm not making too loose of a cylinder. Okay, That last one, again, I put at a slight angle and see how I blend it into that other coil. Okay, So now I already pre-rolled another coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge, I kind of squish it a little bit just so that way it lays flat with that one. See how the coil just kind of continues? Then once again, I'm going to turn as I go. Now here's something that's very, very important. As this gets taller, my hand is going to be, it's going to be too big to get inside of there and actually fuse the coils together. So I want to create about three layers of coil and then I'm going to smooth to join my coils together and create a nice cohesive cylinder using my coil making sure that my walls are nice and even. Okay, so I've got about a good, what, three to four uh, layers, maybe a little bit more. Okay, now, that's where I'm at. So now what I wanna do is I wanna actually come in here and I'm going to actually start to fuse these together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut mine in half so you can see what I'm asking you to do. Okay, you do not cut yours in half. I'm doing this to show you what it's going to look like on the inside. Okay, so what I'm doing is with this bottom layer in here, I'm using my sculpting tool once again, and what I'm doing is I'm going to get my hand in there, and I'm going to push in the middle and down of that bottom coil so that it's fusing into the base. See that? See how it's fusing into the base? That's what I want it to do. Just the bottom coil. Now you want to do this on the table so that you're pushing down into the table. You're holding the outside like this. So when I push into the coil, it comes down. See that? And you keep your outside hand against the actual side of the, uh, the pot. So as you're doing this, like this, so everything's together, I'm coming inside here and I'm fusing to the bottom. Notice my outside hand. This is super important. This prevents me from going through the pot and ruining what I've done. Once I've got the bottom one fused to the base, now I'm going to start to come up, keeping like my finger towards the top. What this looks like again is here. I'm coming in here and I'm scraping up. My thumb is holding to the top so that way I don't separate these coils and my hand on the outside is making sure I don't push through. So it looks again looks like this. This takes practice and that's what we're doing. 
Does that make sense? So you keep on going around. And then once I'm done there, I could actually smooth it out with a little bit of water to come around. And then I'm going to add more coils. I'm going to build up more coils so that way eventually I get to something about this big. And you'll notice the inside is nice and smooth. So I joined and smoothed every three to five coils. Make sure that you're paying attention to that. Make sure you're supporting the outside. Make sure that you're smoothing. Make sure you're supporting the top. Got it? All right. That's all for today.